Okay, guys, uh, welcome back. And today I'm going to walk you through how you can decrypt HTTPS traffic on Windows using Wireshark. Uh, so this is uh, currently, as far as I know, working on Windows 10, Windows 11, using either the Chrome browser or the Firefox browser. Probably works with a couple of other browsers as well, but these are the ones that I've tested. Uh, for this, uh, we will have to go to uh, click Start and then ENV. And you might see this here. This is what you need to open, right? So once you open this, you'll get the system property tab where you will then need to go to environment variables. And there will not be an environment variable called SSS keylog file. This is the one that you need to create by clicking new. Yeah. So in our case, we already have created this. Then you will tell it a pass where you want the log file to be created, basically. And it will create that log file once you say, Okay, um, and after you have done this, you need to restart your machine to make sure it's working on all process, right? So this is the one thing that we have to uh, be mindful with. So in preparation, I've already actually um, captured certain packets that we will use for today's example, right? And so we're just gonna put the display filter on this here. We're gonna say TCP contains uh, orf.at, which is what I've used to, to simulate this. So we already have the client hello here, as you can see. Then we're going to put here a, a conversation filter on this. And we say that that's the TCP conversation filter. There you go. So now we can follow this entire uh, traffic. And if you see here, we will, let's go back over here. As you can see, we see uh, internet, internet protocol. We see transmission control protocol, TCP. And we see TLS, Transport Layer Security. And after that, we see nothing, obviously, because it's all encrypted, right? So uh, in Wireshark, we have a very simple way of actually decrypting packets as long as you have the keys. And this can be useful in many situations, like when you're uh, when you're troubleshooting some communication to some certain website that uses HTTPS, things like that. that there's many ways on, on why you would want to do this, right? So in, in, in Wireshark, we just go here to Edit and Preferences which will open up our preferences tab, uh, window, and then we'll go here and we go to TLS. TLS, as we can see, and here we already have uh, certain settings presets. We won't, gonna, we won't gonna touch them, but what we will do is uh, the pre-master secret log file name, which is, in our case, I have just uh, put it in, in this particular directory. So we're just gonna add this uh, file, whatever it might be named in your case, it's up to you. And we're gonna say open, and we're gonna say okay here. And already we can see, yes, there we go. So already we can see there's now HTTP packets among those packets, right? Like for this, for example, right? And in this, we actually have now clear text uh, communication between the, the browser and and the website. And we could now go and see, we have here common clear text communication here, which we could just simply read and make uh, our troubleshooting sessions with it or whatnot. And this is pretty much it for the day. This was a very short video, but I think it's quite useful to, to know how to decrypt HTTPS if you ever needed to. And with this, take care and I'll talk to you soon for the next video.